Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to use a sensor to try to send a short message or make a voice call to the user for the alarm message and for the notification. So that will be useful because it's without call server. Just send the alarm message by the short message or by the JSM voice call. Okay, let's look at this A4S bar. We take this A4S bar for example for tell you how to use this alarm message. And here we can see that have digital input. Now we will use this cable and the short for this digital input. Actually, you can use any uh, triangle addition, such as uh, in digital input or analog input or different sen uh, temperature sensor or humidity sensor. So that will be send the short message. And let let's look at the KCS firmware, and we can click. This is monitor. Now we have already used the Tuya uh, for the 4G, for the GPS and this is monitored in locally so we can see that is for input and this for output you can see I can turn on and turn off this relay and this input, digital input 1 you can see I can use this cable uh, to triangle this digital input 1 and here you can see that is A4S board this is ground and this is digital input 1 you can see I use this cable and the shot for this input one and this ground and this way and you can see uh, this is turn green so that is triangled okay we can use this cable and test the alarm message we can go to this FTD command and this time I want to use this digital input when triangled then send a short message so we can create this short message. You can see short message notification. And we can create this message number. So that DI1 is triangle. And maybe you can uh, connect with the door sensor. You can input the door is open or the door is closed. And you also you can input your native language, uh, such as the English, the Chinese, and the Japanese and the Russia and the Korea. So any language will be supported sent by the short message. Okay, we can click save. And now we can go to this FTDT and create this new FTD command. That is DI1 make a SMS short message. DI1 short message and enable and we can click this di1 uh, which condition uh, we can choose uh, this is for this uh, rising edge or four edge this means uh, become this level and this means become this level different edge so we can click apply and this time we can click this short message this short message is sent out not is received the short message so this we have defined this number one uh, is my mobile phone number this is the phone number and this short message id is number one so you can see uh, the short message number one and click save and press ok and this phone number you can see here because you can Define six administrative number. This is number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six. So you can set which user to send this short message. And we can click index. Okay, let's test with this cable. This is number one, digital input one. Now you can see I can shut. Okay, and you can see the short message. Okay, you can see this is a short message that DI1 is triggered, sent by this part. This is send the alarm message just for this by the short message. Okay, you can see that is a notification by the short message. And if you want make the notification by the voice call, sometimes you need to emergency because sometimes maybe the short message have the delay time. So we can change this FTD command and we can press edit and this time you can delete this one and we can choose this one voice call 
So you can see this call number is number one because I'm the uh, first administrator number. So click this one and click apply and click save and reboot. Okay, let's test this cable and short this digital input one and this uh, ground at right here. And you can see this mobile phone is ringing and this is SIM card have called me by this mobile. Okay, this is how to send the notification by the voice call. Okay, thanks for watching.